Hey guys, this is Petrus from Ethiopia. This is Erica from Mexico. And we are an interracial couple. Yes. We wanted to create this video just to share our experience in, you know, dating somebody who is from a different culture, mm -hmm. different country, different race. Yes. And we want to share our experience just so in case anybody is dating somebody who's not from the same background mm -hmm. as you, so you can see the similarities and differences that we had to go through and we're still going through. So to start it off, I will start with how we met. How we met. Okay. So we originally met online and then after a few weeks, uh, we met at a coffee shop. And my first impression was she was amazing, beautiful. She was, uh, we got along well, we talked so much, we had so much in common. We, uh, she had a good sense of humor, which is what I love because I'm a very funny guy. At least I mm -hmm. like to think so. <laughs> And we just had a lot of common where we've traveled, we're both really open-minded about different things and different topics. Uh, but what I love the most is that she's very smart and she loves reading, she loves learning just like I am. <laughs> so I knew that um, that was my big connection with her amongst many things. So, but what did you think of me? <laughs> I feel so special now. <laughs> you said all that I wanted to say. <laughs> but anyway, so I really mm. like, I think very similar things. I was just very impressed about like how many things we had in common in, regard, common in regards to values and just kind of our passion for learning and just, we both love reading. Um, and just, oh. I just felt like many things that I, that I thought how I see the world, like he actually saw that, um, th saw it in a very similar way. Yeah. So I think, yeah, that connection was there. Um, something important to know is that I'm in my thirties, so I've been in other relationships. So this time, although I kind of like was interested, I wanted to do things a little different. And instead of going, um, you know, the normal route that normally you start dating somebody, and once you're convinced after months, maybe they meet your family. And even though we live in California and my family lives in Mexico, I was like, before I even considered being in a relationship with you, I want you to meet my family mm -hmm. and I want to meet your family too. And I want to just kind of see how do we feel meeting each other's families and how do we you know how do we fit into each other's world um so then so me, what was your experience when i said that like well first i was surprised because we had only started seeing each other a few times within a few weeks and to meet her parents and to meet the parents that's something that i think we do like months later when we're actually fully committed so this is the first time where i'm doing it before we're even committing and also to meet the parents in another country, um, which means like, I would think like you really have to be committed to travel to another place to meet it. Um, so this was new to me and I'll share more about this in the next videos, but it was a big surprise for me. Um, but then also she went and she met some of my family in San Diego. So how was that like for you? Yeah, I just wanted to add that we live in a border city. So I thought it's not such a big deal to go to Mexico. Um, <laughs> But but I but it's important to think like hey if you're not from if you, it was your first time in Mexico first so time Mexico South so, America uh huh yes yeah, sir Latin America <laughs> but <laughs> anyway so yeah I think to me I was like very aware that I'm going to an Ethi to visit an Ethiopian family and you know that the food is completely different and the way of eating like kind of like not using utensils I was kind of like how is that gonna go and yeah just different. Just a little nervous about the whole experience, but looking forward to it too, because I wanted to understand his culture as well. Yes. I think something else that we wanted to mention is that um, whenever, so there were, a few, I guess I'll say three things that I was like, before I make a, you know, a decision to be officially in a relationship, like I wanted you to meet my family and see what you think of them and what they think of you. I want mm -hmm. the same thing for me, meeting your family. And then we started doing this book that I would recommend. It says Intellectual Foreplay. So it's actually intellectual. So it's just a book about like, just questions about like just different finances yeah. uh self-esteem communication um just different topics uh, that you can think of just to get to know how your partner thinks and it's i felt like that set a good foundation for us just to get each. to know each other and um see like in which areas do we have in common we what it's something that we see completely different but we'll talk more about that in another video as well yes but we just wanted to give a little recommendation <laughs> And so with that, and with that um, I hope you guys uh, just uh, enjoyed the video. 
Um, we're looking forward to sharing more things, more insights of how we've been uh, dating. We've been so far six months and it's been amazing. <laughs> um, a lot of challenges along the way, but um, we look forward to sharing more about that. If you liked this video or loved it, um, you could just click or just subscribe. If you have any questions that you'd like us to answer, please just drop down in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer it in the next yes. coming videos. Okay. Um, other That's than it. that, hope you guys enjoyed the video and we look forward to talking to you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye.